couple of Mormon jokes. Okay, welcome friends to the uh, the Saturday night rap session. Tonight's distinguished guests are Miss Abby Bernstein and Mr. Brian McGoldrick, a devout Catholic. <laughs> and Abby is about nothing. Let's Being filmed by being filmed Lisa by Walker. Lisa and Walker. Lisa Walker. Oh, I mean a devout uh, rice Mormon? No. That's bad. I'm sorry. All right, we'll get to me later. A Jack Mormon. That's it. Rice okay. Catholics. Rice Catholics, Jack Mormon. Get it right. I'm sorry. All right, let's begin with Miss Bernstein. Uh, may I call you Abby? No. I <laughs> <laughs> Miss Bernstein, when did you first realize that? <laughs> Anything? Don't by an idiot. I don't know. When did you turn the camera on? All right, let's explore this. Um, when did you first realize you felt like Helen Keller? <laughs> <laughs> I took my glasses off. Which reminds me of a joke. Okay, hey, let me TV. zoom in on you. They know they're on TV. Why do you did think you they're sitting Helen in those Keller chairs? Wrote a new book? You know what it's called? What? No. Around the Block in 80 Days. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> did, she, uh, did she like that? What did Helen Keller do when she fell off a cliff? What? She screamed her hands off! <laughs> God! How did Helen Keller burn her face? How? She answered the iron. <laughs> oh, oh, and, uh, how does she masturbate? That's gross. What? How does she masturbate? Oh, why? Oh, yeah. No, why does Helen Keller with masturbate with one hand? With two hands. No, with one hand. Two hands. One, one for that and one to moan with. Oh, well, oh we didn't have that on camera. You can tell it differently. You can also say, why does, why does Helen Keller mo uh, masturbate with one hand oh, so she can moan with oh, the other? Okay, yeah. uh, uh, Go to uh. make sure her neck is in her mouth. This is ah. Oh, that's true. Okay, getting back to uh, Mr. McGoldrick's um, political problems since um, coming in from Egypt. Well, I had a great time in Egypt. I thought it was I thought it was kind of sad. How did you get all the coke through? How did I get all the coke through? Where did you hide it? <laughs> I put it in balloons and I shoved it up my rear end. All right, Miss Bernstein. That's a pretty effective way of getting it. Just as long as the balloons don't burst, because if they do, then you have an OD and you die. Are you serious? Yes, yeah. dead serious. Get it? Dead serious. Oh, uh, that's right. a joke. People who do that are called mules. What? What? People who do that are called mules. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's that's true. Oh, wait, that's gonna wake up the baby. She's already awake. Quite awake. Oh, I'm, wake I'm, up I'm looking right at them carrying on this conversation. Or, so, I, just continue. I'm going to check the baby. So, Ms. Bernstein, will you tell us about your new book? Well, um, it's called Why I Drove Out to Torrance to Make a Jerk Out of Myself. <laughs> I don't think I want it to be published, though, because... This is an interesting topic. Can you tell us more about it? Well, you see, I drove... Give us the gist of the book. Tell us what it's all about. Well, the... How did you feel when you wrote it? I felt well, so... Well, you know, I think that's pretty interesting. Whenever you're not in it, get closer to published? him. Okay. How do you feel when you first got public? Crowded. <laughs> Crowded. Funny, that's how I feel. Crowded. Lisa, have you thought of like maybe moving the camera back so that Brian and I don't actually have to sit on each other's well, noses? Zoom it back more. You can zoom it back. You can have to move it back. Yeah, no. zoom it back, you fool. What do I look like here? <laughs> I don't know. Well, no, that's a good question, Lisa. All right, you're zoomed back. Wait. Zoom it up closer. There, stop. Wait, Abby, let's hear more about your lips. Why are they sitting in, in the kitchen? Why? Why because there's more light. Abby's suggestion. Abby, you know, women yeah, always carry cards in the kitchen room. Like so Abby, wanted, Abby, <laughs> Abby, wanted, Abby wanted us to be. Abby wanted us to be filming the kitchen. Of all the ones I've committed, I think this ranks right if, up if, there. If, if it was me, we'd be filming in the bedroom, but then again, I'm celibate. <laughs> as a matter of fact, I sell as much as I can. <laughs> Is it anything I would be interested in buying? Well, I don't know. I think we have different interests, Abby. Most likely. I don't, I don't know. I haven't been collecting much interest lately. Oh, oh let's explore oh, this. Explore what? Abby, that how does me. this make you feel? How do you feel inside right now? 
Play the roles. Uh, so I have to talk about masturbation and get milk thrown in my head. Uh, it's like that. He looks like he has a hat, the, the, he does. the water bottle. <laughs> Take it off. There you go. It's empty anyway. That? No, now it doesn't look like a hat. Now do I look like Carmen? This Miranda? isn't going. Make it work and Carmen. Oh, I see. Well, now it's running, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, it's off. If there's a red light in, inside. Light it's on right off. now. It's being filmed right now. Okay, so Lisa, how long have you wanted to sit in kitchens and hold silly conversations and humiliate your guests? Um, when I was about three, um, my mother took me to the market, <laughs> and I wanted the box of Fruit Loops, but she said that it was bad for my teeth. And she made you eat Lucky Charms, right? No. <laughs> no, I. The same thing happened to me. Stars, hearts. 